Hi, in this slide, uh, we're talking about the obsessive uh, mastery path, uh, sort of an oxymoron. Uh, if you're a type A, hard charging, I want to get results fast kind of person, then I have to, you know, give you a fair warning that this is this is all about you. So what we have here is somebody who wants to get, you know, bottom line results, right here, bottom line results, as fast as possible. And this, you see these people in, in athletics too, you know, they, they, uh, they get out there and they're good athletes, they've accomplished, you know, done well in other sports, they take a new sport and they really want to get good fast, like I've never played golf before, but I play a lot of sports growing up and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be shooting scratch golf, you know, in, in four months time. I mean, they pick some sort of uh, artificial timetable goal and they just go at it. So what happens is when they hit the plateau here, they're going, whoa, this is not in the plan. I kind of wanted to grow like this on a steady input output basis. So what I'll do is I'll work harder. I'll, I'll hit another 200 balls a day, or I'll tell the, the team that they've got to come in a couple hours and stay early and a couple hours late. And you know, we're going to grind it out. We're going we're to stick with the plan and the milestones and the, and the artificial goals that I cooked up because that's just what I want. Well, when we redouble our effort and our tricks to get better, what happens is the overworking causes the human body or a human system, that would be a team or a branch or you know, a group of people working on a project, to basically break down. I mean, everybody has their breaking point. Usually in a team, there's a weakest link. And just when you think things are going good and we're gonna sort of get back on our timetable, somebody says, you know what, I'm quitting. And you go, oh my gosh, this key person just quit and boom. The, you know, the project has a big setback or we're working like crazy and we all of a sudden one day we're out doing our sports uh, maniac thing and we get a searing pain in the arch of our foot and we have a full-blown case of plantar fasciitis, tendonitis kind of stuff. And now we have to lay off and rest and ice it, take ibuprofen and uh, so we're set back. So it's important to when we are setting our goals or timetable to say, wait a minute, uh, what is uh, uh, wh what are our goals and time frames and uh, how how true uh, are those? I mean, if we went to very best people who've already done the path and said, well, you know, what's a reasonable, you know, earliest, likeliest, uh, latest kind of time I might be able to accomplish this? And and listen to people that have been down the path before. Certainly, when in business, there aren't people who've been down innovative paths because we're blazing our own trail. So. And, and when we're blazing our own trail in business, there are too many other variables that we can't control. Like what, what happens if uh, uh, the European Union just blows apart or China has a hard landing and we're exporting a lot to those markets and our business falls off dramatically. We just cannot make that up with sort of obsessive compulsive uh, uh, extra effort uh, or, or, or plan B, C, D, E type of thing. The, another question, that we can ask is as we're doing our path work, where for us or the human system that we're dealing with is the optimum speed or input effort? And there, there are two concepts, two types of stress. There's eustress, which is the prefix for healthy or good, and there's dis, which is bad. So eustress is where we're saying, you know, I'm getting a little tired here, or this is getting a little bit, bit mentally fatiguing. That's a time to stop take a break, take a break, whatever, because the lines are crossing. We can redouble our efforts, but we're, our brain isn't working and we're, we're, we're in ruts and we don't know it. And uh, we're going down the wrong path and we can't see it as soon as we might. So the idea of no pain, no gain, you know, from a physical thing, actually that's been disproved and says, nope, you're tearing your body down more than you're building it up. So how do we find the eustress point as opposed to the distress point and make sure that, that every day, you know, on our path exercises and so forth, we're just hitting the eustress as opposed to distress. Um, so to be able to say to the team, hey, you know, how's everybody doing? Let me know if and when we should take a take a, a break, you know, or we have to pick milestones and just be happy to get there uh, and and have a moment of of, of uh, exhaling and and relaxing and celebration before we move on. So you have to listen to the human body. You have to listen to the human system you're working with to avoid having these, these severe crash and burn setback kind of things. 
So hopefully we'll be uh, reformed obsessives and we'll get back on the mastery path. Not that if you don't practice all these concepts of mastery that you can't still learn how to learn at an optimum best pace, which is really what we want. Thank you.